Hi, this is Mary McCarley, the National Content Specialist with Goodhart Wilcox. In this short video, I will show you how to navigate our online platform. I will use the title Guide to Good Food as an example. Our online platform is very similar with all of our titles. If your district has chosen to or plans to integrate with a learning management system, your online platform will appear differently than what you see on my screen. Once you log in, you will see the resources available for your title. These will include the student textbook, the companion website, the student workbook, the instructor's edition, and the online instructor resources. Depending on your title, there may be additional student resources as well. I'm going to navigate each of these resources for you. First, let's start with the student textbook. You can see that the textbook is divided by units and by chapters. I'll click on chapter three. On the left-hand side, there is a navigation bar. The plus allows you to zoom in, minus, zoom out. The third button down is going to allow you to go to another unit or chapter of the book. Click again to close. The fourth button down is going to allow you to go directly to the companion website. The companion website will house the interactive features within our textbook, and these may include activities, assessments, animations, video clips, and additional tools. The icon, as you can see here and here, is going to indicate to students that this is an activity on our companion website. I'm going to click again to close. And the last button down allows a teacher to print the pages of the book. And this could be especially helpful if you have a student with an IEP or a 504 who needs to mark the text. You'll see arrows on the left and the right, allowing you to go to the next page of the text. You'll see that we're on page 43. 43 of our digital text will be the same as 43 of the hard copy of the textbook. You can go to another page of the book by typing in the page number here and clicking. You can also search our book by a key term by typing in the key term and clicking. And it will take you to the pages of the book that include that key term. So once again, I just want to point out that embedded within the pages of our textbook, you will see an activity icon. If I hover over the activity icon, you'll see a blue rectangle will appear, and this will indicate to the student that by clicking on it, they can go directly to our companion website. So that's going to lead us to our next resource, the companion website. Anytime you click the My Bookshelf tab, it's always going to take you back to the main landing page. So thus far, I've given you a brief overview on how to navigate our textbook, and next we're going to move on to the companion website. By clicking here, it's going to take me to the full companion website. However, most students may enter the companion website from within the pages of the book or using the navigation bar on the left-hand side. So once again, I can click on it from here or just use the navigation bar on the left hand side. And now we're in our companion website. The companion website really allows students to review and to assess. So here are some of the features that you may see on the companion website for your title. At the top is an interactive glossary, and now you can see it's divided by units and by chapters. Every lesson or chapter will include e flashcards. By clicking on the e-flashcard, I can now see the definition. I can remove it from the deck or go to the next flashcard. I can also change it by clicking here, and rather than seeing the term first, I can see the definition first. Make sure to always click Apply. So every one of our titles will include e-flashcards. In addition, every title will also include a matching activity. Whether I get it right or wrong, the program is going to prompt me to try again. I'm going to click the activity icon to go back. Every one of our titles also has a matching activity. All of our titles have vocabulary games, and this is going to be set up very similar to Jeopardy. 
whether you get it right or wrong, it will tell you the correct answer. In addition, depending on the title that you're either reviewing or currently using, you may have some additional activities on the companion website. At the end of the lesson or at the end of the chapter, you'll always find those text-dependent questions. I can type directly into the boxes, and upon completion, some of our titles do allow for the student to email it to their teacher. Just make sure to click confirm and then send. If the title that you're currently using or reviewing does not have that feature, all of our assessments can be saved by just right clicking. I can click the save as feature and save it to a flash drive, a documents folder, a desktop, or if you click the print option, it does allow you to either print it or you can change the destination away from the printer, which is gonna allow the student to either save as a PDF, or if they're currently logged into their Google Drive, it will appear saved to Google Drive. Once it's saved, they could submit digitally. I'm gonna click the activity icon to go back. So this was just a brief overview of some of the activities that you'll find with all of our titles. Depending on the title that you're using or reviewing, as I mentioned, there will be additional activities. So once again, anytime you click the My Bookshelf tab, it will always take you back to the main, main landing page. So thus far, I've given a brief overview on how to navigate the student textbook and the companion website. Let's move on to the workbook next. As you can see, it is divided by units and by chapters. I'll click on chapter three. On the left-hand side, a navigation bar appears. The plus allows me to zoom in, minus, zoom out. The contents button will allow me to go to another unit or chapter of the workbook. Click again to close. The fourth button down, or the resource tab, is going to allow me to see the workbook with form fields. Now, before I click on that, I do want to point out that you can print pages as well. So let's see the workbook with form fields. And this is going to allow students to type directly in the pages and then submit digitally. So by clicking on the web-based feature, it does allow me to type directly into these form fields. And then upon completion, some of our titles will provide the option to email it to your teacher or professor. However, all of our assessments can be saved by just right-clicking in the space off to the side, and once again, either save as or click the print option. And as I scroll down, you can see the entire workbook with form fields. So I'm going to click the My Bookshelf tab to take me back to the main landing page. So now let's look at what's available to the instructor. There is an instructor's edition. So in the front matter, there'll be information on best practices, maybe how to engage ELL learners or differentiation. Depending on the title, you may also include the answer keys and a pacing guide. The online instructor resources, this is what's really going to help teachers to plan and facilitate their course. I'm going to click again on instructor resources. From here, you can see that there are three grade, gray tabs, a resource material, chapter resources, and assessment software and question pool. Depending on your title, you may have additional gray tabs. We'll look at each one of these. If I click the plus, I will be able to see what's available under that tab. And the instructor materials often does include the correlations and also pacing guides and information on best practices. I'm gonna click the minus to minimize it. Next, your chapter resources. This is where teachers you'll go most often to help plan and facilitate your course for a particular chapter or lesson. I'll click on chapter six. At the top, you will often find like textbook answer keys or workbook answer keys. Also, we include lesson plans. We do provide those in Word format so that they can be edited as needed. In addition, you may find some additional handouts. And also within the teacher resources, 
the PowerPoint presentation. The one that states for PowerPoint is the one that you can edit. So you can add slides, delete slides, and change it as your own. By clicking on another chapter, you'll find that the format is the same. I'm gonna minimize the chapter resources. So next, the assessment software and question pool. So this is going to allow, this software will allow teachers to create a customized exam to meet the needs of your students. It will also generate an answer key. And teachers can choose from true, false, multiple choice, short answer, completion, and essay. If you're using a learning management system, you'll see that the question bank files are here. However, if you're using our online platform, you would need this uh, file for a Windows or a Macintosh. So this brings us to the end of the presentation, and I hope this video was helpful in showing you how to navigate our online platform. If you have additional questions, please email implementation at g-w.com. And make sure to include the title of this presentation in your email. Thanks so much for your time and have a wonderful day.